Warning, Tomb of Annihilation spoilers ahead. We rejoin Zaley the Ranger, Nalo the Druid, Barakas the Rogue, and Torin the Paladin in the basin containing Omu, the Forbidden City. The jungle parts to reveal a dead city enclosed by sheer cliffs. Ruined buildings and stone boulevards rise like ghosts from the floor of the misty basin. Colorful birds glide overhead. A waterfall pours into the basin, creating a swollen river that floods much of the city before draining into a deep rift filled with molten lava. A ruined palace lies a few hundred feet from the edge of the steaming abyss. Before we continue, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot. What's that red stuff? Lava. Drink it. Badakas isn't thirsty, but if Badakas had a pet turtle, Badakas could feed Badakas' turtle some of that hot orange juice. The party walks up some stone steps to a decrepit gatehouse, clearly ruined from neglect, the elements, and looters. Badakas wants to look inside. I'm not going into a sh building like that. Ah, uh, fine. Badakas will scratch himself against the portcullis. The party slowly starts to explore the mostly deserted city, stopping in a nearby ruin that has smoke rising from inside it and audible barking. The gate to the ruin lies in splinters, and scorch marks deface the buildings. Near the center of the compound is a plaza littered with charred human corpses. One of the corpses is being torn apart by a pack of borking wild dogs. Is anyone alive? Badakas can hear groaning across the courtyard. And what about the dogs? Friends or dead? Friendship the dukes. Then tell them to f off. Passive aggressive druid. Friends, f off. When they resort to eating people, their manners have probably degraded. Nala successfully friendships four of the six dogs. The two uncharmed dogs do not attack as the rest of the pack is curiously watching the druid. Hi, friends. Heckin' book, book. Book druids, come to take me food. No take food. No, good friends. Good friends. It's for me. It's my food. No takes it. Do you guys mind clearing out? You've gotten enough food here. No, it's our food. We want. Take it with you. Can't lift. Tear a piece off and take it with you. You can come back later. How later? An hour. What's ours? Well, that's a fair point. Till the sun moves from here to here. Okay, best boy. We go. You go. No take food. It's for we. No take food. No take food. The dogs chase off going, boop, 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 boop. Alrighty then. The party follows the source of the groaning and discovers someone buried under some rubble. Ah, thanks for getting me out of there. And you are? Suspicious duck! Orvex Akramas. I was here with the Red Wizards, but it didn't work out for me. Who are the Red Wizards? Some group out of Thay who are here looking for an artifact. And what was your role in that group? I translate and examine historical sites since I speak old Omuan. Wanna come with us then? We can protect you from harm and we're looking to explore the city. We can pay you too. No payment necessary. The history of the world is my payment. Orvex omits that the Red Wizards have paid him quite handily for his services, though being left to die under a rubble pile wasn't what Orvex had in mind. Orvex and the party find out, after a surprising amount of evasive answering, that they're both looking for the Soulmonger. All right, we should go check out the nearby Trickster God shrines. I believe they're related to where the Soulmonger is hidden. The party heads to a nearby shrine that has a large pool of water out front and several frog-related statues. Barakas decides to pick the locked door. He succeeds, and a frog hemoth bursts out of a nearby pool, charging straight at Barakas. It is a surprisingly difficult battle. The party manages to kill the frog hemoth, and Nala takes a few of its teeth as her new deer hooves. Now, all they need to do is get into the shrine and figure out what's up. Badakas will be there in a moment. Badakas goes to the end of the pool and prepares to partially desecrate it when Salida kicks him in with a huge splash. Ah, uh, hey! Badakas almost drowned. Well, maybe you shouldn't have dropped trowel right there? Nala has sent some face spiders into the shrine to climb up on the ceiling and retrieve a cube artifact from its depths. When the cube is removed, the front door slams shut and she feels the spiders slowly die. When the spiders are fully dead, the shrine doors reopen. The cube was not replaced on its pedestal, so Nala just sends more spiders in to claim it. One down, eight to go. It's getting late, we should find somewhere to shelter. Unbeknownst to the party, the remaining red wizards have also claimed a puzzle cube. I guess we'll see who's feeling agreeable when it comes time to share. The party takes their puzzle cube and heads to one of the basin walls, where Nala carves out a large shelter in the cliff face. Not a bad place to spend the night, right? Exactly. One way in, easy to guard, and it doesn't have a bunch of windows for weird creepy crawlies. Darkness falls on Omu and the cliff hideout is quiet. In spite of the players taking guard shifts, Salida stands quietly at the entrance to the hideout, holding a lamp turn aloft. Oh my god. You have no dark vision and you ruined what little you have. Stop. You're creating a beacon and drawing things here. If only you knew, Nala, how accurate that was. Salida turns, briefly looks at everyone in the cave, and departs into the night, quickly vanishing into the darkness. Well, f*** you too. Do you guys want Badakas to bring her back? Yeah, follow her. Badakas will go... Oh, this looks bad. Into the firelight emerges a sizable force of Yuan-Ti. Balisons, purebloods, 
brood guards. It seems someone really means business. Throw down your weapons and come quietly. What? I can't understand your accent. You dare insult us. What? Kill them! Unfortunately, the Yuan-Ti will have the last laugh in this fight. The party minus Alita are taken in chains to the big palace in Omu before they're stripped of their gear and thrown in some slave pits, awaiting their likely deaths or long-term enslavement. How will this dark turn affect the party's ability to stop the Soulmonger? Who is behind this attack? Where is Salida now? You'll find out soon. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button and attack that like button. I'll see you all next time.